What's up YouTube? I'm Vaughn and this is the Gear Channel where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, cabaret games from tabletop to video games and today we are reviewing the Spawn Classic Series 20 The Clown 4 or is also known as Goombas Al Pizzas. Now let me tell you I am super excited to review this figure because I have it sealed for quite a bit of time and I was looking for a good opportunity to open it and this is just the right chance to really open it since we do have quite a bit of good figures to do a size comparison with. Now the market price for this specific figure is about $70 because it's quite hard to actually find this specific one but so far the lowest one I found was $70. So if you're planning of getting it definitely get yours right away before that price increase even more. Now before we begin for the reminder as always to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel a lot and I do really appreciate it. So with that being said let's get opening. Here he is out of the box and I have to tell you he just looks incredible. The details is on point. Now we're definitely going to take a close up look when we check the articulation. But just wanted to do a 360 spin of it because he just looks amazing. Look at all that details. And you know what honestly for a figure it's time. It's actually quite like detailed and even a lot of like the aesthetics the even the uh, materials that they used for it is actually really like good so it's definitely a figure that's going to age quite well so starting with his head look at that detail it just looks amazing it could actually turn 360 which is quite cool it's a bit tight because of the rubber and also his hair is actually rubber too now one thing that i did not know is that he has tons of uh posability with his arms so he could actually pull them outwards which is quite good so tons of articulation could actually turn 360 which is nice now both of them actually do have a decent forearm rotation so on both of them so you could actually pose it in many ways and also even wrist rotation but it does leave a gap but this is definitely an amazing figure on its own aesthetically and then plus you have those as articulation quite nice now he could actually turn his waist 360 and this looks god awful but yeah that's also a function you could do and then even for the feet it can also turn 360 as well but lots of nice details the jacket is completely rubber too i wouldn't recommend taking it off and also it's going to leave weird how the sleeves looks and then you have his t-shirt as well but really cool figure now let's check his accessories starting first we have a slice of pizza look at that mamma mia i could do that because i'm italian but yeah so very nice detail next we get the box of goombas al's pizza very nice has the phone number everything really nice details like it a lot also it has the paper in it and then when you take your pizza over here there you go very nice detail love it I feel like it could be a little bit more disgusting, but yeah, very nice details. You just pray in and there you go. And it's on a hinge over here. So you can actually close it and it actually looks pretty cool. So very nice accessory with it. Now let's check how he looks with all his accessories. Here he is with all his accessories. Now I have to note that he can definitely hold that box of pizza, which I'm very happy for because it would have been an issue if I always have to display him with the pizza on the ground but I'm very happy that he could actually hold it properly and there's no issue at all and especially with this slice of pizza he holds it quite fine and there's definitely different poses that you could place the pizza in his hand so definitely there's no complaining about this figure aesthetically and even the articulation is on point now I think it's about time we check some size comparison here he is next to this spawn classic r3 here he is next to the newer McFarlane's Taurus the clown and finally, here he is next to the newest Violet Toro, which are all, I think they look quite good together. And that's it for our Spawn Classic Series 20, The Clown 4. Now, this is definitely an amazing figure, and I really have nothing bad to say about it, so I definitely do recommend to get this figure if you have the chance to and especially if you find a good deal for it now if you guys enjoyed today's video you know what to do like and subscribe and if you want a sneak peek of future products we're planning to review here on the channel you can follow me on my instagram vaughn gear i'm vaughn and this was the gear channel